In this episode, I bash more parts, change the angle of the armor, and add puppet details. Watch the whole video to learn the tricks I used on this project. First, I'm going to clean the surface with file and sanding sponge. I'm going for this idea. Flatten this part. Sew the middle part from below. Using a hobby knife, I open the gap more. Then, using a triangle file, I open the gap even further. Once it's big enough, I switch to regular file. The extra plot plate will add detail and support for the fin since the gap is slightly too big. Rather than covering the gaps with scraps, I add panel lines instead. Next, I cover the gap on this side with plot plates. This part will cover the connector behind it. Mark the inner frame with scribing pen. File until the mark I made earlier. Then using one mil plot plate as a guide, I make another mark. With this scratch built in frame, I can remove all the armors later for painting. Since the inner frame is slightly exposed, I add flat plates as details where it's visible. First, I clean up the excess flat plate from the mistake I made earlier. Next, I'm going to change the angle of the armor with a new plot plate. Trim off the sides while leaving a little plastic. Then I make two marks on this plot plate. One is one and a half mil, and the other is half a mil. This is how I make the marks. Cement the plot plates in place at an angle. Using this simple plot plate, 
I check the angle on both sides. This plus strip fill the gaps and hold the plug plate on the cork end. Add more plug plates. Using this template, I can add pen line on both sides. Clean the inside first. I saw the extra plug. Then, with a triangle diamond file, I trim the rest at a different angle. Since it is a bit hard to clean the inside at this point, I put a layer of thin plug plate on the inside. I add regular cement on the sides since the connection is a bit loose. I use different thickness to create shadow and highlight effect on the armor. I use too much plow plate, so using a hobby knife I remove the excess. I decided to add scratch build part on the front side to fill the empty space. Plus strip on the top will fill the gap between the two plow plates on the side. Another plow plate to cover the front side. Then I add another small fin on the top to cover the small hole. Because I kept the first connector I made, the side armor can be snapped in place while still be easy to take off. This is how I detail the side armor with plow plates and leftover parts. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something on this episode. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. See you on the next episode.